<laughs> Silly Stan, you thought they'd give me a place that I couldn't work on. Well, I do. <laughs> Hello, my YouTube friends and viewers and whoever else. Today we're going to take a look at a Trackmaster 2 playset called Close Call Cliff Set. It includes Thomas, but does Thomas have that spooked out face that we see on the box artwork? I'm also noticing some sparks there, so does Thomas really spark when he goes around that very scary turn? It's a bit of an unusual playset because of the way the layout is shaped, and that's the only reason why I picked this one up. It cost me $36.95 in a discount toy retailer in Australia, and I think this playset might be, well, maybe, fairly good. We're yet to find out. Okay, this is a place that I've been keeping my eye out for. I didn't find it in normal retailers. I uh, bought it in the shop that I normally wouldn't buy a Thomas set in. Uh, and I got a funny feeling that maybe this has been got into before because I can see here it's been double taped on the back and there's some ripped cardboard there. In fact, the more I look around this, there's been lots of double taping going on. I hope uh, this is a virgin playset for me. I don't like it when I've got something and it's not a newie. I think we all like to, if we're paying the premium price, we want to have something that's not been played with. Hmm, what are your thoughts here? Everything's still in its bags. That's weird, maybe they've just opened it up to take a look inside and... Yeah, I might be just freaking out for absolutely nothing. There's the constructions, I'm going to need those, I think. And I'm going to have to get all this stuff out and unbox it, of course. And let's not forget to get Thomas out. And remember to keep that plastic bubble because we can make ghost Thomases and fancy things from that bubble of plastic. Yeah, here comes Thomas. But unfortunately, it's just got a normal face. It's just a stock standard. Thomas, how disappointing. How many times have I said this? Mattel, wake up. Get with it, guys. We don't want that. We want this. Every child wants a face like that. That is just so slack. It's not funny. I need those constructions, don't I? That box. Okay. So, <laughs> something in the background just collapsed. That's what the set's got inside the box here. Uh, in here is a bit of a thing about how to build it up. There's a nice little map there of the layout. I actually quite like that. It's a very interesting shape. It looks nice and compact. Let's build it up. Yeah, not a bad play set. It's got a set of points. It's also got a Y intersection as well. Uh, they're always going to be handy when you're making layouts. And I'll just dump it on the track here. And hopefully I can identify what's what to build this layout up. Well this is the real specialty piece in this layout. It's like the hairpin bend and we're going to put rocks here as well which reveal all sorts of uglies and dinosaurs and snakes and whatnot. Uh, these play sets tend to be very very easy to put together uh, because you basically can only put in things uh, one way. Uh, someone puts a lot of thought into making these very simple to assemble. Uh, then again, someone put zero thought into making Thomas look interesting, so it quite often um, a strange conundrum goes on when you build these things and the rocks go somewhere there. No, the rocks actually go on like this. Uh, I think it's like a, a small rock which I'm going to put in first and it builds up to a larger rock. And from what it looks like, when Thomas comes around or whoever, they basically knock this area here and the rocks go flying to reveal the nasties. It's got a lot of detail and relief. Uh, you could probably come in with a pencil or your little texas and get some more work going on there. I've showed that in previous videos where you can mark these up and make them uh, look more realistic. Like especially one like that, you come in and you can mark up that little danger sign, rocks falling sign and really enhance the look of this playset if you want. So I've added the incline area there to go up to that hairpin bend. Like I said, it's got a set of points here, a wider section, and the curved pieces of track on this playset is what I'm calling the smaller radius of Trackmaster track, and this may <laughs> inflame more questions than I ever wanted it to. I showed my turntable, not sure if you remember, but I showed that Trackmaster 2 track actually has two different radiuses of track. That's actually very nice uh, because then you can set up two tracks side by side. This playset basically incorporates a whole ton, actually 10 pieces of what I call the smaller radius of track there. 
the inside radius. So I don't know whether you want to call it radius one or radius two. Um, it's just CS marked on this track. Um, that's what this playset has lots of. So if the smaller radius is called CS, what's this larger radius called? It's a burning question I can tell you. It's called CL. There it is right there. So the outside radius is CL. Maybe it stands for curve long. The inside radius track is CS. Maybe it's curved short, but I think it's really important to understand that there are these two different radiuses of Trackmaster track. As for where I got the longer radiuses from, I don't know. All I know is this place it's got lots of the shorter radius. Okay, I have made this place it up. Hopefully I've made it up correctly. It is actually a very small footprint that this playset takes up. That might be a good or a bad thing. It's up to you if you like small things or big things. There's a nice return loop here and there's also an area here we can go and connect on to another playset or another part of track if you want. But there's one nice attribute I like about Trackmaster 2 track and it is this. You can actually just grab it and you can pick up the whole playset and it doesn't fall apart. You can take it to another part of the house if your child sets up the playset in an inconvenient spot. And I know sometimes when children play, uh, they can put their toys down wherever. Really nice. I really like toys you can just pick up, it doesn't fall apart and you can move around. Yep, that's something I really like. Okay, this playset obviously came with Thomas the Tank, a bit rough nut painting across the top there, stock standard face, boring. And what we've noticed is the way they specialise these Trackmaster 2 Thomases is quite often I'll put a decal down here and I'll add things on there to be a special Thomas. It's basically just stickerized to make it customised. Trackmaster 2 has geared wheels at the back here. Remember this is a high performance drone, boys and girls. <laughs> Don't be fooled by what they tell you, that's all I can say. And there's that shot for the fanboys. But what I did like about the change of Trackmaster 2 is that they all take a standardised battery. They all take AAA batteries, even though I hate AAA batteries because they're sort of gutless. Um, they got rid of all of the multiple batteries that the earlier versions of these toy trains did. They did something right. Got to be positive in one aspect, don't we? Always check your Thomas face. A bit of funny painting there around the mouth, the eyes. They look okay. Yeah, sometimes I like it when they get the eyes a bit wrong because that's what I like. Let's see if Thomas works. Ah yes, Thomas is a goer. Okay, let's give Thomas a spin and see what he does in this place. First time I'm seeing this, can he do it? Can Thomas survive this miraculous hairpin bend and knock over the rocks? He's done it. Oh yes, he survived. He comes down. And he's going to go around the circuit, he's going to loop back on himself because that's what this playset can do. I haven't reset the rocks, let's see that one more time. It's quite a nice action, isn't it? I like it. Here he goes! Woo! That is exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Well done, Mr. Thomas the Tank. And of course the trick is, is to reset these rocks and let Thomas come and do it all over again. And here he comes! Oh, I love watching that, I love it a lot. In fact, I can't keep my eyes off that action, it's great! Just keeping a very close eye on him. What's making him do that very sharp turn? Oh, okay, it's the front wheel. Let me grab my slow motion camera and I'll get that action at 500 frames a second. Okay, it's uh, quite a curious place. I uh, actually don't mind this one and the way it plays out. And I'm just going to pull up Thomas at the top here. Let's talk about one of the other nice attributes about Trackmaster 2 is, apart from having the cog wheel, which is fantastic for traction when you've got this going on in the tracks, when you take that away, these wheels are excellent at spinning. And that's part of the trick that's going on here. It's a bit like an ice skating ring up here. When Thomas gets caught there, it's no trouble at all for this engine here to just be flicking around like that. Now, that's something that I think if you had like a rubber traction tire, uh, this sort of trick here would be very, very difficult to pull off. And I'm a bit curious to see if maybe the earlier version of Trackmaster Thomas works on this playset. 
So we'll take away Trackmaster 2 Thomas, we will introduce an earlier version of Thomas, a more classic version as many people are going to say, and we will set this Thomas off on its merry way and we'll just see what's going to go on here. Got any predictions here? Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube, what's going to happen here? It's going to be Thomas Fantastic or it's going to be Thomas Disaster? Hmm, here it comes. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh, traction tyres. Hmm, maybe give it a bit of a bump. Come on, Thomas, that's not a very good look. You're playing up on me now. Come on, you can do this. Oh, just with a bit of coercing there, and he's stuck again. Look at this here. Hmm, I think these are a little bit longer, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're a little bit longer, and it's sort of caught up on the rocks here. Hmm. No, that's a jam point there. Let's just give it one more go. Let's not give up yet. Come and reset the rocks, which is quite a comforting thing to do. Remembering we're sold on the fact that this is cross-compatible stuff. Uh, well, no, it's not. Thomas is stuck there. Let's give him the color thing. Come on. The partner doesn't want to play, does he? There he goes. Come on, and he'll get stuck there because he's too long. Hmm. Well, okay, I'm surprised, but then again, I'm not surprised. Let's take the classic earlier version of Trackmaster Thomas away. Let's bring up Trackmaster 2 Thomas and let's add some wagons on here. Well, of course, that's Thomas the Tank. I've put on three wagons here. I'm laughing because I just had a failed take that may be seen and may not be seen. <laughs> that's a gold Thomas Mini, which is number 61. There's a minion because then I can spam blah blah in this video because if you put minions in your tags, then you get views. <laughs> there are those guys there. Remember those guys there? But where are they now? Is the question. Okay, Thomas, on your way. Gently, please. And the way he goes. And he's going to go around the back there. I hope I've got the rock set up. And I'm just doing that in the background. And here he comes. What's going to happen? It's going to be epic goodness or epic fail or epic disaster. Okay. <laughs> he's struggling to get up the hill here. A little bit too much low. That's a bit strange. Oh, I see why, because he's on the skiddy part, he can't get up. Well, come on. There's no traction, so he can't pull his wagons up here. You know what, I never expected that. Well, Bumblebee Boots taken a dive. Uh, let's give this a shove at the back here and see what happens, see if we can get stuff to work here. It's just a disaster, isn't it? He's not going to do it, he can't drag anything up here, even though he's super high performance and whatever else. Oh, he's sort of done it, but he sort of hasn't done it. Come on, Thomas, you go. Oh, no, I forgot. The bird. <laughs> the bird's on the track. Sorry about that. Oh, this minion's taking a dive. He's out of there. And Thomas is coming along. It's looking like a tragic thing. I haven't cut the camera. <laughs> See what happens this time. And he's just completely stuck because it's a log jam here. Okay, and once again, some sort of weird skitty thing because we don't have the traction thing going on. We spoke about that, didn't we? But I didn't expect it to affect it like this so much. It can't do it with the wagons. Let me show it from the back. Come on. Whoa! And it snaps around and then gets caught again and blah, 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 blah. Okay, off it goes. Yeah, that was sort of weird. That's what sort of funny, it keeps doing log jams on me. I don't know why. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's just strip it back so we've got one wagon, okay? And see what happens. Okay, we're stripped back to one wagon. Just got a gold Thomas Mini in there, which looks totally awesome. Here comes Thomas. Can he do it with one wagon? Oh, yes! He's done it! He's a miracle! Yes, he's done it! Well done, Thomas! What a hero! Mind you, it doesn't look like a comfort ride for that Thomas Mini, the gold one. You watch what happens when we go around this circuit here. Oh, getting bumped around. Not a very nice ride.
Yeah, so it's quite an addictive little place there, and if I don't set the rocks up, I think that that Thomas Mini in the background will get shaken to one side and it'll tip out. That's what I'm hoping to capture. Will it happen or not? Will it happen? Whoa, it didn't happen that time. Maybe next time. Come on, Thomas. Spill that gold. Yeah, he's gone. The gold is down. It finally happened. It took a couple of attempts, but the Thomas Mini gold one has been tumbled out. We can put it back in. But I dare say it'll take another 20 attempts for it to happen again. I might get it one more time. Go for gold here. Tip down. Yes, Thomas gold is down. And guess what? Thomas is also stuck up on the play set because of the little log jam going on here. Go Thomas, go! Come on, get with it! Now will that gold Thomas get smacked when Thomas comes back around? Here he comes, let's find out boys and girls. And it's a smack! Oh, he's been shoved back into the rock. Oh yes, it's fun doing that sort of play. It's a shame these rocks won't be bigger because you could probably then hide your minis there and they could be revealed. They're a little bit too... Oh, then again, no, it's, it's just busted off that side there. Oh, who knows, it might work. Let's see if that's going to work. Might be some new sort of play I've got here. Might be a complete fail. Okay, okay that's a fail. So we're starting to get the excitement of this play set. Let's swap out Thomas and the wagon there for someone different. The crash and burn uh, diesel 10. This is the one that's got the crash ability. My Thomas one never folded up properly to be Thomas, so he's been put away in a special place. Let's see how that uh, Diesel 10 goes on his playset. Well, do you think it's going to work? He hasn't opened up to being crashed. Oh yeah, Diesel 10's done it! <laughs> Silly steamies, they thought they'd give me a place that I wouldn't work on. Well, guess what I do? <laughs> oh yeah, I quite like Diesel 10 on this one. I like it a lot. Okay, well let's give Diesel 10 a stop here, let's put him aside, let's put Thomas back on here and let's rectify Thomas to what we should have seen at the start with this toy. This is part of the packaging, I always say to keep these because you can do things with these. What we're going to do here is we're going to do something very simple and really amplify what this toy should have been. We're going to cut a line, oh roughly along there, hopefully nice straight line. Okay, I'm just going to do it all the way around, something like that. So now I'm going to come in and very carefully cut with scissors, or I'm going to do a rush job because I'm trying to do something in front of the camera here and it tends to be an epic fail whenever I do that. Try to look down through the camera and also operate scissors, uh, it can be quite tricky. Okay, I've got a nice straight edge cut along the bottom of that and it fits over Thomas and most importantly it doesn't foul down around the wheel area, it's actually clear of that. And we're going to add something else to this to make this what this Thomas should have been. Got any ideas what it is? Well there's a major clue, that's the face we want on this Thomas, so I'm going to come in and carefully cut that face out right there. And you can have two approaches, you can cut out large and then come in and trim with scissors, or you can be very daring like me and come in with a knife like this. This is something definitely the adults should do, using knives and things, and I'm going to carefully redeem this beautiful shocked Thomas face. Okay, there is my beautiful Thomas face from the box. That is stunning, isn't it? Well, guess where it's going to go? Straight onto that bit of plastic that we cut up so nicely. To stick my face on, I'm going to use spray adhesive. I've got a lot of faith in spray adhesive. I've used it for many, many years. I'll have to put a bit of spray adhesive here and some on the back of that face to make it work properly. One trick I do to get glue on both uh, items is I spray the back of this a lot. Okay, probably too much there. And then I quickly just put in the spot where I want to have it there, so then we get glue on both spots, but then you've got to let it tack off to work properly. So let's let that glue tack off. Okay, here's our plastic ghost Thomas thing. There's our glue, a bit rough nut. It's feeling like the Curiosity Show. We've got glue on the back of that, and now it's tacked off, and I can just put one with the other one, and it'll be like a union that will never come apart. <laughs> okay. And um, yeah, it's a bit rough nut. I haven't got the old, here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> because I'm not like the Curiosity Show. Anyone my age will remember that on television in Australia in the, what was it, the 80s? Probably back to the 70s. <laughs> Given away my age here. Anyway, just let that dry properly and it should be done. And sure, when it's all done, guess what? You can put the face on that you want on Thomas. That's what we want, Mattel. Stop being lazy, start doing it right for us, please. Okay, with Thomas in the way that he should have come in this playset with my little secret cookie cutout face there, 
Let's turn Thomas on. Oops, didn't do a cutout for the switch, did I? Naughty Leah, let's see if Thomas works. Go, Thomas, go. And he still works in a playset. Awesome! And really, I think that's all we want. A decent face on it and maybe some white on the running board. Man, and oh man, it's not too hard to do that. If I had, let's say, one week in this toy company, I reckon I could sort it out and make a whole bunch of people happy. I can't believe that we just get dumbed down toys with less and less detail going on and then the toy companies say, oh, but our profits are going down. Well, is there any wonder your profits are going down because you're becoming very, very lazy toy makers and you're just trying to skimp out and give us less and less and less. Time's up, Mattel. It's time to start being real about the toys. And on that note, I better leave this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now. So today we're going to take a look at a Trackmaster 2, Thomas, blah, blah, blah. One trick I do so it doesn't get too messy is I put spray adhesive on the back of that and it moves around too much. Take two. Remember those toys there? Mmm. Where, where are they now is the big question. Let's put these guys in as well for a ride. Hopefully they get underneath there and let's give Thomas a thing. And get the train going. Whoa, whoa, there they go. Whoa! And the minions already taken a dive. It's a very rough start. <laughs> That's on the fire reel, ladies and gentlemen. That's a fail, fail, fail.